Today is St. Patrick's Day and many people feel it's all about wearing green and eating corned beef and cabbage, but many also think it's about the beer. WENY's Leander Rosa joins us live in the studio with more. Leanne? Asia, according to Forbes, nearly a quarter of a billion dollars will be spent on beer for St. Patrick's Day alone this year. I saw there were celebrations all across our area and not even just today. People have been celebrating for days. With St. Patrick's Day falling midweek, it seems like many people started their celebrations early. It was extremely busy all day Saturday and it sort of carried on into Sunday. But yeah, it was crazy on Saturday all day. But Ed Sam Chisholm of Horseheads Brewing Company says it's not just the holiday that causes a crowd. Recently, craft beers have become more and more popular in the southern tier. The big thing for me in going to craft breweries, particularly in New York State, is I really support the local businesses. I think it's a great example of local businesses growing up in an area that's tough to do business in. But sales have also gone up all across New York State. According to the New York State Brewers Association, the state's number of breweries jumped from 95 in 2012 to 149 in 2014, making New York the sixth largest beer producing state in the country. The number of breweries opening up, it, it draws more and more people in. Um, it's, there's beer trails now, there's, there's just all kinds of things to you know, help promote the, the craft beer industry. And it's great product. I think it's a way of supporting a local person as opposed to some nat, you know, multinational corporation. And this past November, Governor Andrew Cuomo signed the Craft New York Act, which eased some of the state's regulations and restrictions on brewing and made it easier for breweries to produce and sell their product, helping to further the already growing industry. And if you plan to honor your Irish roots and continue to celebrate St. Patrick's Day the rest of the week into this weekend, you might want to swing by a local brewery for your beer fix. A lot of them have some pretty unique flavors. In the studio, Leanne DeRosa, WENY News.